The search for life on Mars may have been focused in the wrong places. The red planet is considered an ideal candidate for the search for extraterrestrial life because, in its first billion years, it had favorable conditions. Rivers, lakes, possibly oceans, a thick atmosphere and a protective magnetic field, making it similar to the young Earth. NASA missions, such as Curiosity and Perseverance, have explored strategic areas such as the Jezero Crater, which hosted a lake and a river delta, in search of signs of ancient life. However, it is possible that we are looking in the wrong places and that, incredibly, life on Mars may still exist today. Understanding how life emerged on Earth offers us clues. Liquid water, chemical processes capable of forming complex molecules and a source of energy are essential. On Earth, it is thought that life arose near oceanic hydrothermal vents. Similarly, young Mars offered similar conditions. However, the planet rapidly cooled and lost most of its surface water and atmosphere, reducing its habitability. NASA missions are based on the hypothesis that life could have emerged in this early period, collecting samples in search of fossils. But the possibility of life today cannot be ruled out. In 2018, a lake of liquid water was discovered under the Martian South Polar Cap, followed by three other alleged discoveries. These underground environments are reminiscent of Lake Vostok in Antarctica, which supports life despite extreme conditions. On Mars, however, the water would be highly saline and the temperatures extremely low, making survival difficult. Furthermore, recent studies cast doubt on the existence of these lakes suggesting that radar signals could be optical tricks due to layers of reflective dust. Despite this, the Martian subsurface remains a promising place. Volcanic vents, such as those in the Columbia Hills, could offer ideal conditions. Earth has a vast deep biosphere that is independent of sunlight and thrives on chemical reactions and geothermal heat. Its biomass vastly exceeds that of surface life. If such an ecosystem exists on Mars, it could explain the presence of methane detected in the atmosphere, perhaps produced by underground biological activity. This suggests that Mars may not be a dead world, but may still harbor life hidden beneath kilometers of rock and ice. The possibility of underground ecosystems on Mars raises fundamental questions about planetary biology and habitability. While the surface appears desolate, an entire living world may be hidden underground. The search for Martian life is still in its early stages, and we may only be touching on its true potential.